No transformation has taken place unless there's no more systemic poverty. So that would be the ultimate goal. And poverty also exists in many ways. There's, yes, physical poverty. There's the poverty of water and sanitation we've discussed. Mm. But there's also mental poverty. Hey, everybody. My name is Angie Morenga. You're watching Just Angie. It's Mwene Inchi Monday. I know we said our goodbyes last week with Anya, so, but I just felt like there's something that's not finished. So this will be now the fifth, hopefully, and the final part of this segment because I wanted to talk about community and I know you recently you, you do a role with Tia Fund and it was recent but the impact of community and the power of community to rally around something so I don't think I could let you go without talking about that because we're all about community and this is all about governance right mm. well thank you again um, first of all I mean the journey I've had with you since 2014 is what has you know culminated especially in my role with Tier Fund. Thank you. Um, because one of the things you taught me and I've been learning since 2014 when I took PLF is um, really how to listen to God but not just listen to obey. Mm, to obey. Yeah um, and um, and that's been important so mm. One of the prayers I pray from time to time, and I prayed last year in August, August 13th, 2020, is Lord, show me and confirm to me that I'm still on the right path. Because wow. I only want to do what he wants me yeah. to do. Yeah. I don't want to do anything else. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I can make a lot of assumption like revive is now my mission, but I used to assume Ivory Consult was it and everything, and that's not right. And even I used to think World We Knew is going to be my life. But God always has a change. He and the change does. is for the better. Yep. And we're always growing. And so, we're always morphing and moving into new things and transitioning. Yes. Mm. And so part of, I guess, it's governance of myself is really to be mm. open to that change if change needs to happen. Mm. I wasn't looking for a change. Yeah. Uh, Revive Consulting Solutions is a, you know, a firm that we're building and growing, but I still pray that prayer. And that same day, God dropped into my spirit tear fund. I mean, out of the blue, I, it's you. not something I think about on <laughs> any given day. I've had interactions with the organization a few times over the span of 28 years. Um, so I went to the website and found there was a position Imagine. as a program manager for East Africa and um, India uh, open out Imagine. of the Canadian office. Now Tier Fund is headquartered in the UK and then there are different countries that also have Tier Fund, um, independent Tier Fund offices, but they were all aligned with uh, the Tier Fund um, in the UK in the UK and uh, and Tier Fund in the UK I've respected them for a long time my go-to magazine has been since my days in Tanzania 28 mm. years ago has been footsteps which is a Tier Fund publication okay and they're very community based Important. so my training at university was also very community based, based. Um, then um, the community development model that I kept reading about very community based and out of that Tier Fund developed what's called a church and community mobilization that process. so amazing. Church and community mobilization process. Yeah. That just sounds like hallelujah to my ears. Yes. So CCMP for short, but uh, you know, church and community mobilization process. And we are now activating that in Makueni with one of the organizations we are working with here locally. Mm. Um, and the result of community and church um, mobilization. mobilization is church and community transformation. That's so that amazing. would be the goal. Anya, that is so powerful. Yes. Church and community transformation. Yes. And wow. as we mentioned last week, no transformation has taken place unless there's no more systemic poverty. So that would be the ultimate goal. And poverty also exists in many ways. There's, yes, physical poverty. There's a poverty of water and sanitation we've discussed. Mm. But there's also mental poverty. Yes. Many people who have wealth do have emotional and um, also mental poverty. They may or may not be aware. 
So um, they can't see the poverty. And so maybe they can't see the poverty or can't Hager. see beyond mm. themselves. Yeah, they can't yeah. see beyond this. They can't see what's possible. Mm -hmm. So this community uh, mobilization can make them see what's possible. That's it. And it That's always it. reminds me of Hagar. Mm. You see Hagar, they say that she, Hagar in the Bible, yeah. that she put the baby under a tree and, you know, and the baby was crying. I thought she was not crying. But the Bible says the baby was crying. Right. And then all of a sudden her eyes opened. Yes. And the well was there. Yes. So the well had always been there. Right. But she hadn't seen the well. Yes. So yes. There's, a, there's an eye open, opening that needs to take place yes. so that you can see the well that you have and the wealth that you have and what you have around. Also reminds me of what you have in your hand. Exactly. You know, That's what do you it. have in your hand that we can multiply? What is it that we have? Yes. And I'm always saying people are very quick to say nothing. Mm. They like to say mm. nothing. We have nothing. Nothing times nothing is what we have. But with a little bit of prompting, oh, I have a little oil. You know, there's mm -hmm. something that we have. Yes. So we have purpose. We have life. We have, we have vision. We have community. We have each other. Yeah. Because the one thing that I love about community as well is that if you've tried to do something on your own, sometimes you're just at your end. Yeah. But if a group of you come together, mm. you sort of prop each other up and give each other energy and okay it's not just me tackling this situation right. let's tackle it together let's do it so together. it's very powerful yes mm. yeah and 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 it is very much that what do you have in your hand you know and it starts with children the boy with the loaves and the fishes you know jesus asked what do you have in your hand mm. and uh, you know he fed an entire community five thousand people uh, plus with with those uh, few loaves and fishes mm. And it's the same with church and community transformation. What do you have? We have a church building. We have a church plot. We have health. We have congregation. We have stones. We have, we have sand. Mm. We have willingness. We have time. We have, you know, so many things that you begin to list with a community. We have prayer. We have hope. prayer. We have, we have faith. faith. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot that people will come out and say. Mm. And then you begin to envision the future together. And then how do we? get there and where do we start with the resources within that community mm. yeah because where we start is also very hard mm. sometimes you can just look at things blankly and you just you don't even have the energy to start so where to start is very important but to get like I like the way the end first start with what they want to see mm -hmm. and then you know sort of help them through that sometimes it's you know I'm even hearing a song I can see clearly now the rain is gone like this clarity that comes right by all of us standing here instead of one person trying to do it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Or saying, oh, this is the government's work. It can't be the government's work. We can wait work. forever. We are the ones who are living and going through this mm. process. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And all it's right. very empowering also. Yeah. One of the really great examples of it is what we call village and savings. Mm. Village, VSL, village savings and loans. And it's based mm. on an older model that I've seen a lot in, especially in Western Kenya called table banking. People get together. Um, it used to be, you know, we bring a cup and a plate, and today you, the group member, Pastor Angie, take it. Next week I take it. And that's table banking mm -hmm. uh, or merry go round, yeah? Mm. Now, table banking is with money, and village savings and loans is also with money, but very um, rigorous. I mean, there's no room for uh, any cheating or anything like that, and a very good social cohesion. What I've seen, especially in Burundi and here in Kajiado, is women saying, I have bought this goat or I have bought this um, um, bricks or I've built this house with my own money. Imagine me saving 20 bob every week and I have done this. The empowerment and dignity that that gives people is astounding I did something and it was me it wasn't some microfinance institution coming to give was me. there was no loan it was me being disciplined putting 20 Bob here every week we save together and then we rotate who gets a loan and use that loan to do something um, either you educate your child or you start a business, and it is really amazing. And it's it with is. people's own resources. So we talk and about your own resources, that's a resource. That's amazing. Mm. Wow, Anya, thank you so much. For me, on behalf of the Kenyan people, thank you for coming to this country and coming to East Africa and just changing lives, because you have. You've really changed lives, and um, I know it has cost you um, dearly. That's why when I was reading through this, I was like, oh my goodness. 
Um, it's cost you dearly. You've had some amazing experiences. God has kept you though. Mm -hmm. He's really protected you yes. through craziness. Because I think me, for me, one experience with a python is one experience too many. That would have been the end. The end, get on a plane and go back home. This is never that serious. I'm off. So I'm really glad that you've done that. And then I think also for the people out there, please, you know, if, if people are saving 20 shillings and doing something with them, I think we have a, sometimes a lot of extra resources and we're not being careful or prudent with our resources. So we need to be that. If, if we need to save, you know, and when you're younger, since this is Monday to Monday, please save. Save money. If people can save 20 shillings and build a house, surely, what have we done? And we have access maybe to 100, to 1,000, to 20,000, to 10,000. Save money because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Make an investment, empower yourself, and do something for yourself. Yeah? I really hope that you're encouraged by that. I'm glad we came back and did that. All right. And we'll give you Anya's contact. You can contact her. You can contact Revive. You can find out, you know, all these community things with church. You know, get your church to talk to her, send her an email, and they'll give you direction. And let's do something. Let even the church and the body of Christ become relevant. This is how we shall become relevant. We need to become relevant and, and move it now from prayer into action. What can we action and how can we bless the community and how can we get this country and the countries that you're watching me from uh, become greater and better and give people dignity and self-respect. God bless you greatly. It's Monday Chi Monday. I've really enjoyed this series. Thank you. Thank you, Anya. God bless you guys. Bye-bye.